Well, y'all, thank you very much for coming. This is a, this is a, 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 a happy announcement. You know, South Carolina is growing, and we know that um, the U.S. Constitution provides for a census every every 10 years. So that's coming up, and Census Day is April the 20th, and we're getting a start on it. The Census Bureau has recommended that the states form complete count committees, various types of committees, in order to be sure that we're, we're counting everyone. Now that's important for a lot of reasons, for congressional representation. As you know, we, we picked up a congressional seat recently. We hope to, maybe we'll pick up another one if we're growing uh, as fast as we think we are. But this is, this is good news, and we want to be sure to count everybody. So what we've done is I've issued an executive order that is creating a, a committee to supplement the work of the U.S. Census Bureau. And we have all sorts of organizations that have agreed to participate, uh, many of, of which are represented here. All the cabinet agencies, and, and by the way, all the constitutional officers, and Mr. Uh, Loftus, the treasurer, Mr. Hammond, the secretary of state are here with us today. Uh, Department of Administration, the Department on Aging, I'll just mention a few first steps, the University of South Carolina, United Way Associates, NAACP, the Food Bank Association, South Carolina Minority Affairs Commission, the Urban League, Republican Party of South Carolina, Democratic Party of South Carolina, South Carolina Progressive Network, League of Women Voters, the Appleseed Legal Justice Center, Blue Cross Blue Shield, Dominion Energy, Palmetto Family Council, you name it, any other organization that'd like to participate in encouraging the people that they have contact with to, to go online. Much of this census will be online this time, but there will be papers that will be mailed out and taken up as well. So we want to we want to be sure that we count all of our people in South Carolina. And now uh, and I've asked uh, Pamela Evett, our Lieutenant Governor, to chair this this committee and here she is. Pamela. Thank you, Governor. Good morning everyone. It's an honor to be here. I want to thank the governor for asking me to chair the governor's complete count committee. Um, I'm very excited about the list of people that we've chosen on that committee. That list will be made public. Uh, if you find that your organization is not on that list and you, you want to be, please reach out to the governor's office because we want to make sure we include everybody. Um, now the census doesn't officially start till April 1st, 2020, but we have to start now. You know, we don't want to wait till the last minute. The work starts now, so we need all hands on deck. Um, the governor's complete count committee uh, it was established so we can inform people. We want to make sure they understand how to complete their census form. Uh, in the coming weeks, I will call a meeting um, with all the people on that committee. Uh, it will be a public meeting uh, to make sure we get the ball rolling nice and early. Uh, I would be remiss, though, if I didn't add that, you know, we need to have a good count, so I want to encourage everybody, uh, all of our citizens, to participate in the census. And please make sure that you include children under five, because what I've been told is they are the um, they are the people that are least counted. So we want to make sure that we add them in. So thank you again, everybody, for being here today. Like I said, I'm very excited to chair this committee and to get everything rolling. And right now, I want to introduce Mary Peeler uh, with the U.S. Census. Thank you. In 2017, the United States Census Bureau issued a press release with the headline, Three Years to Go, Census Bureau Prepares for Census 2020. Today, we are eight months away from Census Day, April 1st, 2020. Every 10 years, every person gets the opportunity to set the course of their community's political power and to determine the flow of more than 675 billion federal dollars annually for many such a program, such as highway planning and construction, child care, special education, early childhood education program, Medicare and other health care programs, Title I grants, WIC and SNAP, and many more. Over the next eight months, you will hear of the many options you have to ensure every member of your household is counted. Federal dollars follow population numbers. A special thank you to Governor Henry Mathers for heeding our call and forming a South Carolina State Complete Count Committee. 
This committee will help to spread the word about the importance of the census to every South Carolinian and to urge every household to participate. Also, the governor's office has and continues to assist us in recruiting workers, building our master address file, and ensuring newly constructed homes are included in the 2020 census. You will hear census messages from trusted voices at your places of worship, as well as from educators, business leaders, community leaders, and elected officials. Let our tagline be your guide. Shape the future. Start here, United States Census 2020. Thank you, Ms. Taylor. So as you can see, we, we're getting started early. We'll be organized. Any group, any individual wants to participate to encourage their neighbors to fill out the forms, to go online, whether they do it on paper or do it online. We need to do it. It's uh, very important. And we've got a great team, as you can see, represented by those who have agreed to participate so far. We'll be having public meetings to get the word out. This is an awareness program, just like all others. Uh, the difference is this one This one is critically important because we won't do it again for 10 more years. That's right. So we have to get it right this time. So that's our story, and it's, uh, it's a great story. South Carolina's growing. We're on the way up, and, and we, want to, we want to count. We want to find out where we are, who we are, and we want to be sure that our representation and our strength is felt. Are there any questions? Well, they're also, you can just imagine every, every organization has members, they have influence, they have people who come to their meetings. Uh, the, for instance, the power companies may send out a notice in, their, in bills. Uh, you may have uh, 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 churches, uh, synagogues, uh, places of worship that put up no notices to be counted, businesses, uh, whether it's dry cleaners, uh, food stores, whether it's clubs, organizations, social, historical, or any kind of organization. We encourage and everyone, as you can see from some of the names I mentioned a little while ago, and you probably recognize some of the people people here. But this is a we we, we have the the whole panoply of South Carolina citizenry uh, uh, represented, and we we hope in that way to encourage everyone, get the word out to everyone that it's very important that they be counted in the census. Well, I think all, whatever contention has gone on has probably reminded a lot of people there's a census, another census uh, time is coming up. But our point here is, is what we're doing is, as you can see from the participation and the interest, we just want to, we want to be sure that all the people of South Carolina are counted. Because uh, the, the, the basic, the fundamental constitutional obligation and, and opportunity is to see that, that our numbers are counted for representation in all things, whether it's in the national government or the local government. We can't function unless we know how many people we are. Well, we don't know. That, that's, uh, we, we know we're growing. We know that they, uh, months ago they said 48 people a day were moving into Charleston and about 48 or 49 permanent residents a day moving into Greenville. Well, we know we have people coming from all over the place. A lot of people are moving in, and we know people are, are leaving uh, some other states. We just actually see populations going down in some of the some of the other big cities. So uh, we're experiencing a lot of growth. That's why you see uh, big businesses wanting to wanting to come here. It's because of the people of South Carolina. They all say that it's because of the people. So we we uh, we may pick up uh, another seat. We we might not, but we need to know who we are and where we live so we can have the lines drawn. Uh, appropriately and when we do the redistricting. Well, it's, it's citizens, it's residents, it's, uh, it's the people. It's not, uh, not, uh, not visitors, not tourists, uh, but, but anyone else will be counted. Yeah. I didn't hear the first part. We, we have uh, low compliance rates, but sometimes you don't know because you don't know what you missed. You don't know what you don't know. That's why we're, we're making really a, a, an effort this time. That this is, I think, the first time that we've, in memory, that we've had something like this in the state. And we really are growing, so it's very important that we, that we, we have an accurate count. 
Uh, but but this, this kind of participation is really a very in, encouraging, a very happy sign that, that all of our people understand how important it is and, and that we want to, want to count ourselves. Well, they're, they're, form they're formulas for all sorts of federal programs, their requirements uh, that must reach a certain number of people. There are all sorts of uh, different mathematical things that have to be done for a variety of federal programs and grants and all those sorts of things. And if you, if you, can't, uh, if you can't measure it, you can't manage it. So we, we have to measure, and that's what we do. No, that's not the purpose. It's to, we just we want to be counted for whatever whatever comes up. We are thrilled with the way the South Carolina is growing. We know there's some things we need to do, particularly in education, is one thing we have to work on. But uh, we are we, we're growing. We're prospering. We want to be sure that everyone participates in this growth. We leave no one behind. Two more questions in there. What is the um, committee's plan to count undocumented immigrants? To do what? What's the plan to the committee's plan is to adopt is to count anyone who is living in the state. Period. Did you have any opinion on the citizenship question that was uh, raised? Oh, I'm interested in South Carolina. What we, what our committee, what the purpose of this is, is to count the people living in South Carolina. Thank you. Everyone.